Tucker Carlson's slam on Canada, in which he described our fair domain as an atheist totalitarian state. Canada has now become an atheist totalitarian state with amazing speed. And in Canada, it's now a crime to object to sexualized drag shows for children. You're not allowed to say a word. It wasn't his first poke at us. So it would be nice to write that off as Tucker being Tucker and his guest Ezra Levant as Ezra being Ezra. You want an atheist totalitarian state? Try North Korea. Parents there who let their kids watch Hollywood movies get hard time in a labor camp. North Korea, we ain't. On the other hand, what do you call a country where when a pastor speaks up, where when anybody speaks up and says that it's wrong to take children to highly sexualized events, whether it's drag or straight up and down the wicked stuff, where when the people who are sexualizing the children are given a thumbs up, while the people standing up for common decency are hauled off to jail. What? Where are our heads? Oh, I know they say Pastor Reimer was causing a disturbance. Well, what sort of a disturbance would you cause if somebody was abusing a child in the next room? Look, we like to say Canada's a free country. It's not, as we are finding out daily. Ask somebody who's had their bank account frozen. And for 50 years, it's been getting harder to make the argument that it remains a Christian country. But the libertarian ideal, the libertarian ideal still counts for something. Do what you want as long as you're not hurting somebody else. Sex outside marriage is okay as long as it's consensual. So strippers, drag queens, clubs, porn, those, those who want it can have it. Those who don't are free not to. But people who want to pull children into their sexual playing field, that is weird. Is it that there are no grandmothers with time on their hands that children must be read to by men dressed up as hookers? It is wrong, and it is right to say so. Leave the children out of it. And here's how you know it's weird. We care enough about the physical health of children that to make sure they don't get their hands on cannabis, tobacco, or liquor until they're 18, we ID up to 30 years of age. 30! That's how sure we want to be that the kids don't make a decision that's bad for them because we don't think they can handle it. For the same reason we don't let them vote until they're 18. Why? Because we don't think they'll make mature decisions. Most places, we don't even let them drive until they're 16. It's not because they can't reach the wheel. It's because we don't think they have the judgment at a younger age to deal with the situations that driving presents. There is still such a thing as an R-rated movie where kids under 18 aren't allowed. Handling substances, mature judgment, decisions, suitability for some things and for their own good, we make the kids wait. Yet, when it comes to their mental health, to getting an abortion, when it comes to deciding whether you're really the sex you were born with, now it also appears when it comes to assisted suicide, kids as young as 13 and in some cases younger yet, with the coaching of a school counselor, but without the knowledge of their parents, kids can make all those huge life-changing forever decisions for themselves. And if you don't agree, you're the hate monger. Got that? You're the problem. That's how it is then that according to Calgary's mayor, if you object to children being taken to see, men capering around dressed as grotesque caricatures of sexy women, you're driven by hate. And from people like you, the drag queens deserve the protection of the Calgary City Police. How does a Calgary mayor get to redefine as hate what was just common decency a few years ago? How is it that when a man says he feels like a woman, and then claims the right to remove his clothes in a changing room full of little girls, we all sit here like that's something little girls just need to get used to. Tucker Carlson makes his living by overstating his case. But when I see a pastor arrested at his own home and hauled away to be charged because he went to a drag event involving children and said, this is wrong, I don't see that as a case you can overstate. Of course it's bloody wrong. And by the way, a lot of people would agree with Tucker Carlson 
that Canada has become atheist. And to me, it absolutely looks totalitarian as well. For the Western Standard, I'm Nigel Hannaford. Canadian Shooting Sports Association. Without the CSSA, our gun rights would have been taken long, long ago. These guys are on the front lines helping to draft smart and intelligent firearms regulations and legislation in Canada. And more importantly, educating the public about how we keep guns out of the hands of the wrong people. You become a member, it's absolutely worth every penny.